I welcome you back to the Burning Channel. And today we are talking about the Colorado River as we scoot in here. And you can see over the next several days, there's going to be a ton of precipitation here. If this holds past 15 inches over the next several days, Vel 14, Aspen. Now we're looking at the GFS. We'll see what the European says here in a minute. Like up here by the beginning of the Green River, 7.4. Milana, you're talking about 7.6. Steamboat Springs, 14.2. Aspen, 13. Montrose 7.9, Telluride 8.9 or 9.3 actually, and then it, over here by Lake Navajo as we scoot in, you can see Lake Navajo is down here, Pagosa Springs 10.2, Bayfield 3.5, Navajo Dam you're looking at 1.8, Shiprock you're looking at 1.1, and Farmington 1.4, so not a whole lot there, you can see over in Grand Junction 4.5 which is a lot, Page 2.4, now let's go to the European see what the difference is, you can see it's more sporadic it's generally they kind of give you the whole area here tell you right over here 8.9 Pagosa Springs 9.6 Farmington we're talking about 4.6 Cortez 3.1 Crest Butte possibly 9.6 so it's just a matter of which one you believe in like they even have quite a bit up here by the beginning of the Green River 11 inches Milano over here 7.6 Vernell is 2.3 Page down here you're talking about 1.8 and possibly a little bit in Canab 0.8 We'll see what happens. St. George looks pretty dry. Vegas, nothing. And a half inch just to the north of Lake Mead. Lake Havasu, 66 degrees currently. That's pretty impressive. And that is what's going on in the next 10 days. Let's go out and see what the water levels currently are at each lake. And we are going there now. We'll start off Flaming Gorge like we always do. As we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, you can see that the current water level is 6,025.81 feet. And you can see it's pretty close to where it was last year at this point in time, which is a good thing. 2023 was much higher, ultimately, but it didn't start out that way. We are much higher than we are 2023 currently. Let's see what the lake is doing currently. And that was on Sunday, February 16, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 21.19 feet below full pool of 6,047. Changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.03 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is also up 0.15 feet over the last seven days the lake is up 0.49 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 0.11 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 2.96 feet over the last six months and the lake is down 0.18 feet from last year at this point in time inflows are currently 1506 and your outflows are currently 914 and we go to your three-year bar graph next as we roll out to your three-year bar graph, full pool is 6,047. In 2023, we are looking at 6,006.51 feet. Last year, we are looking at 6,025.99 feet. Today, we are looking at 6,025.81 feet. Inactive pool is 5,871. In dead pool, it is 5,740. We continue to scoot along to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, Capacity, we're looking at 82.01% and we continue to move along here. As we roll out to Lake Navajo, you can see that the current water level is 6,037.24 feet. And that was on Sunday, February 16th, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 47.76 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.07 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.25 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down a half foot. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 1.28 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 9.35 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 4.95 feet. Your inflows are currently 189 and your outflows are currently 386. We continue to your three-year bar graph now. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, you can see that the full pool there is 6,085. In 2023, the water level was 6,017.50 feet. Last year, we were looking at 6,042.19 feet. And of course, this year, we're looking at 6,037.24 feet. So down a little bit from last year, higher than two years ago. So we'll take it. Deadpool there is 5,775. We go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity there at the lake, we are currently looking at 
60.89%. And let's continue to roll on over to Blue Mesa next. As we roll out to Blue Mesa, you can see that the water level is 7,481.40 feet. We are down lower than we were last year at this point in time. And that was on Sunday, February 16, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 37.60 feet below full pool of 7,519. Changes the chest The lake is down 0.08 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.28 eight feet over the last seven days the lake is down a half foot over the last 14 days the lake is down 1.33 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 10.78 feet over the last six months and the lake is down 6.66 feet that's a bad omen and the inflows are currently not available and the outflows are currently not available sometimes that happens and we continue to roll along here your full pool level as stated earlier is 7519.00 feet in 2020 three we're looking at 7,447.91 feet last year we were looking at 7,488.06 feet today we are a little bit lower 7,481.40 feet and Deadpool there is 7,358 feet we continue to move to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity there at Blue Mesa we are currently at 61.88 percent let's move along now over to Lake Powell next as we roll out to Lake Powell, you can see that the current water level is 3,564.48 feet. And it's a little bit higher, but boy, it seems like we're aiming lower here. Like we'll be lower than 2024 here before too much longer. It's just slightly above. We'll see what's going on here. And that was on Sunday, February 16th, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 135.52 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.14 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is down 1.06 feet over the last seven days over the last 14 days the lake is down 1.94 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 4.73 feet over the last six months the lake is down 12.33 feet over the last year the lake is up one foot just like i said lower than last year over the last six months though so that's not good inflows are currently 5,675 and your outflows are currently 11,947 we go to your three-year bar graph now Next, as we roll out to your three-year bar graph, you can see that your full pool is 3,700. 2023, we are looking at 3,522.02 feet. In 2024, we are looking at 3,563.48 feet. 2025, we are looking at 3,564.48 feet. And active pool is 3,490. And dead pool is 3,370. We go to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, it's 33.47%. Over to Lake Mead next. As we roll out to Lake Mead, you can see that the current water level is 1,060. But look at the difference. Way higher than 2023, quite a bit lower than 2024, so that's not good. We continue to scoot along here. Your current water level is 1,068.07 feet, and that was on Sunday, February 16, 2025, at 6 p.m. The level is 151.53 feet below full pool of 1,219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.06 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 0.8 eight four feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 1.48 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 2.71 feet over the last six months the lake is up 5.68 feet and over the last year it's down 7.28 feet so we're down 7.28 feet from a year ago but we're up over the last six months so i would rather see that last one be up than down inflows are currently 13,135 outflows are currently 5,556 as we roll out to lake Mead's water level you can see that the current water level is 1219.60 feet in 2023 we're looking at a water level of 1047.54 feet 2024 we're looking at a level of 1075.35 feet 2025 we're looking at a level of 1068.07 feet and active pool is 950 and dead pool is 895 we go out to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity you can see that the current percentage 34.94 percent and now i have a special treat for you we're going to go check out the snowpack now so let's do that now 
as we roll out to the snowpack, you can see that we are in a world of trouble. You can see there's a green line and then a blue line. That was 2021. And then 2022 wasn't much better. We're doing just about as good as we were in 2021 and 2022. 2025 is about the same. It's only about 90%. The water level at the Colorado is not looking good. We are not nowhere near, not even close to where we were in 2023. And it reflects through the graph as seen so far. Far. And here is the problem with that. We are we're in trouble. I mean, I don't see any significant jumps whatsoever. In those years, it didn't really jump much, and it doesn't appear to be to look like now we do have some precipitation coming and that could kick it up, but the average snowpack is this is this line right here is 107, and we're a long way from it, especially down here. So this is definitely a reflection of La Nina. So we'll be watching this, and this is not good. If we come all the way up here, you can see the two 2023 we really did well and then 2019 was a really good year and 2017 was a really good year this is not good for the Colorado at all in general, especially Lake Mead with it not really rising as much as it had. Earlier in the year, we were looking pretty good. We were actually ahead of schedule. That just fizzled out really bad, really quickly. There's there's always hope. You never know. Anything can change in a matter of days. You just, you never know what the weather will do. But as of right now, this doesn't look good. Over to Lake Mojave we go next. Lake Mojave's water level is 642.72 feet, and that was on February 16, 2025. At 7 p.m., the level is 4.28 feet below full pool of 647 feet. Changes since yesterday. The lake is up 0.67 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 0.42 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 0.92 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 2.86 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 0.1 feet over the last year the lake is down 0.28 feet inflows are currently 6451 and your outflows are currently 6907 three year bar graph next full pool at lake mojave is 647 in 2023 we were looking at 642.60 feet last year we were looking at a level of 643 feet 2025 we were looking at 642.72 feet and deadpool there is 533 feet up to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity you can see that your current percent is 92.43 feet over to lake havasu next as we roll out to lake havasu you can see that the water levels up and down like usual right now it looks like we're on the downhill slide as seen right here the current water level is 446.80 feet and that was on february 16th 2025 at 7 p.m the level is 3.20 feet below full pool of 450 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.15 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is down 0.36 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 0.14 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 0.48 feet over the last six months the lake is down 0.99 feet and over the last year the lake is down 1.43 feet inflows are currently 7148 and your outflows are 6900 61 three year bar graph is next as we roll out to your three year bar graph you can see that the full pool level there is 450 in 2023 we are looking at a level of 447.58 feet last year we were looking at 448.23 feet today we are looking at 446.80 feet inactive pool is 440 and dead pool is 400 even and let's go out to percentage of capacity for the final stop this evening as we roll out to percentage of capacity we are currently looking at 90.43 percent thank you guys for stopping by i hope you have a blessed day hope everybody down at havasu is doing well as well richard and everybody else god bless